Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of Ready or Not. I got a fun little poster at the screening. What what? As well as some wedding cake. And might I add bloody wedding cake. <laughs> Ready or Not tells the story of Grace on her wedding day as she marries into, quote, the peculiar family. But after the knot is tied and the vows are said, she is drug into a really sick and twisted family game in order to be accepted into her family to be. You know how I have to say it. It has to be said. But this time we got to add to it. Not just white people are at it again, y'all. This time, rich white people at it again. And even more so, rich white people with crazy religious beliefs at it again. Ooh. Sounds like the most horrific story to me. I was pumped for Ready or Not. <laughs> it was definitely one of my most anticipated films for the second half of the year. It just looked like a blast, like a really fun, really self-aware fresh take on a slasher film and i was ready and that's exactly what it is this movie was awesome so let's go ahead and talk about the positives first well first of all i need to start off with samantha weaving because i think she's fantastic she plays our lead role here and she is amazing in this movie to me this was akin to something like jessica roth in happy death day a true star making performance from weaving First off, she has a great scream. It's like this guttural, like, yell, cry scream that she does that is so good, so distinct for a scream queen. I loved it. But she's there to carry this whole film perfectly. Her execution as a character is great. I really liked Grace as a character at large, and Weaving just really brought her to life perfectly. Other cast members such as also fantastic. While not all of the cast hits home runs, they all serve their kind of stereotypical role well enough to go along and have fun with it. Surprisingly, this movie is hilarious. <laughs> I laughed a lot throughout the movie. It's really smart, it's really witty, very self-aware and campy in a lot of ways, but it works so well. This is a beautifully crafted horror comedy. A lot of times the comedy comes from the horror aspects of the film, and it's just a good time. There's some creative kills in here, there are some creative set pieces in the chases and in the hiding of it all that work very well. And in saying that, the movie does a really great job of kind of building suspense as we are on this chase throughout the movie. Plus it's big kudos for a really original high concept script that bobs and weaves in very unexpected ways. This is not your standard slasher film. This is not your standard horror movie. And while it does play into some tropes, overall it's hard to guess. It is really difficult to keep up with what's going to happen next. And that's a lot of the fun of the movie. <laughs> the concept of like murdering vibe and seek is awesome. And I love a good story that has our main scream queen fight back, that has her be more involved than just running for her life. Also, the score was really great in this movie. It's, again, much like everything else in this movie, it's not a stereotypical horror score. It does what it needs to do to build up that tension and suspense, but it's also just a really good musical score at large. And overall, the use of music is just really good period. The sound design is really good. It's a gorgeously shot film. I think this looks beautiful. The cinematography is great. The editing is wonderful. Honestly, I just really loved this film. I thought it was awesome. <laughs> so what doesn't work so well then when it comes to Ready or Not? Well, I mentioned the tropes and it definitely falls into those in the film. And I think that stands out a little bit extra because the script at large is just so witty and so inventive that when we fall into these tropes of characters doing really stupid things, characters not making sure people are dead, you're kind of like, oh, okay, obviously, you can spot those moments a mile ahead. So the big twists and the story revelations are shocking and keep you guessing and on your toes. The smaller details of each event 
are much more in line with what you'd expect from this type of slasher. I'd also say I wish it was a little bit scarier. It's not really scary as much as it is gory. So there's a lot of suspense, a lot of really fun, creative kills throughout the entire movie, and there's a lot of blood. They don't shy away from that. And it's really, really funny. But it's not necessarily scary, per se. So I wish that we had found ways, especially in the, the latter half, to inject actual, like, terror in there. Really minor, like really nitpicky kind of complaint is that I wish Grace, our main character, had started fighting and we had made that turn to like fight her a little bit earlier in the movie. Also, not all the acting is great. There's definitely some over acting going on, some over the top acting to sell the jokes, but every now and then it took me out just a tad, but that's just another really minor nitpick. But overall, Ready or Not is a blast. If you like horror comedies, this is a great one. This is like top tier horror comedy for me. Certainly the best one we've received in years. If you're looking for a good horror film in general, although it's not that scary, there's enough gore, there are all of the settings and trappings with good suspense and the laughs, I think you're going to have a blast with this as well. As long as you can handle some blood, I think if you're a comedy fan, you're going to have a great time with this too. So for me, Ready or Not is definitely a full price ticket. One of the funnest experiences I have had in a movie theater for 2019. This was a blast. So that is my review of Ready or Not. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see Ready or Not? And what is your favorite horror comedy? Let me know either in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Mwah! Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.